there, YouTube? I made a video a second ago. I had to redo it because I looked like I was drunk as hell or something. My hair was all messed up. Anyway, what I'm what I'm uh, informing you real quick tonight is um, I decided to make this video real quick because what happened was I was looking for my Corsair H105 all-in-one cooler that's on my on my Intel system won't work without a new back plate or not a, a new bracket see there's a bracket that comes with the uh, the Corsair H105 that allows you to use to hook up to an AM3 AMD but it doesn't have one for the M4 so they're gonna make a new bracket Corsair is that will work with AM4 the holes are a little farther out I can almost drill this thing and make it work because it's almost it's like it's like a like an eighth of an inch or like an eighth of an inch farther out is where the AM4 holes are for the new Ryzen CPUs. That said, if you have bought an AMD Ryzen or pre-ordered the AMD Ryzen CPU and you have an all-in-one cooler and it comes with this AM3 back uh, bracket for the for the pump, if it has an AM3 bracket for the pump and you are are trying to you know wait for them to come out with a new AM4 bracket have no fear if you have purchased or pre-ordered the Asus Republic of Gamers board if you have the Hero Asus ROG Hero board it has the screws on the motherboard can be moved out to the AM3 holes or in rather move closer to the AM3 holes to these holes but you will need a back plate for that so if you have an H1 uh, um, have an all-in-one cooler go through your box and see if you have a back plate now what I did was this is my old LEPA cooler if you remember I made a video about this I loved it and it worked for about six months or eight months and then the pump died I'm gonna take this pump apart because there's nothing wrong with this radiator maybe I can even jump this through and have a double radiator. Wouldn't that be cool? I should do some kind of DIY project where I've got like a, two radiators or something on one all-in-one cooler to make it even cooler. But if you look through your packaging, and my packaging for my H105, I just had the screws, you know, some little colored wheels, um, some more screws. This, I keep everything when I, when I build a system. I keep all the boxes and all the stuff. Um, I had the AM3 bracket but not an AM4 back plate. So the holes on the back won't, there's nothing to screw to the holes. But luckily on my LEPA cooler, I had the box for it. Even though this cooler died a while back, I kept the box. And in the box for that, there's, ta-da, a back plate. And it says only for AMD, only for Intel. So on one side, it's AMD. So I kept also the instructions. So I think I can make this. It's got little plastic bits and pieces that go in the back and go on this plate to hold it off and bring the screws to the same spot through the same holes. So basically it extends, it changes the screws. Now the screws are slightly different, but this one has the, the Corsair, the Corsair has a different uh, style screw that goes, it's the same style screw, it just has screws like this, and then uh, washers, there's little standoffs, there's the standoffs that screw into the original, into the original thing. The, this one had long screws, basically it's the same deal, it just has long screws instead of the standoffs, and it has little plastic standoffs, and then spring-loaded little screws that hold the plate down. It'll work either way, it's the same, it's basically the same idea. The only difference is the distance, the distance between the bracket and the and the back of the and the back of the thing might be slightly different, but I'll be able to, I'm sure I'll be able to make it work. You know, I'm sure I'll be able to work something out and you know figure out some way to put a washer in there, put something in there to push this down farther or you know extend it up a little bit or whatever I have to do, I can make it work. But if you can't make it work, and if you don't have parts, I'm going to leave a link in the description, description below to a $6 backplate that you can buy from Amazon with Prime shipping if you're a Prime 
Amazon. I don't get anything from it. I actually ordered it first. I ordered this back plate and then I was pulling my box out. I was making the video a minute ago and realized, hey, wait a second, I've got that old one. Let me pull that out and see if I have a back plate. Sure enough, there was a back plate in there for AMD. Um, and I might still have to end up buying that little thing because it comes with little standoffs that go, little standoff things go in here and see it might not fit in this little groove. I might have to, I might have to do a little bit of, I might have to do a little bit of sanding or something, you know, a little bit of working on this stuff to make this thing fit. I can make it work though. If I have the plate in the back and I have a way to put screws through it and put nuts on the back or whatever I have to do, I can make it work. It's not a big deal. But anyway, I'm going to leave a description below, uh, a link in the description below. It's late. It's like almost 10 o'clock for me. And I, I get up early because, you know, I go fishing and stuff early in the morning and I'm used to getting up early. I'm, I'm old man. I'm very old. See my hair? Look at my hair. Look at this. Look at this hairline. What the heck is this? And I ramble on too. So if you like a guy that rambles on, is old, and likes to build computers and stuff, then you'll like my channel. If you don't like my channel, don't watch it. Watch something else. Anyway. Oh, and by the way, thanks for the tips about shortening up the, the intro. I did that. I shortened it up. You'll see, you'll notice at the beginning of this video, the intros, it's shorter. It's still a little too long. I still have some tweaking to do on it, but I shortened it up for you guys. Thanks. Take it easy, YouTube. Later.